today, we're going to install a K&K &K pickup in a very cool recording king. Guitar stuff with John. All right, here we go. We're going down to our buddy we call Mr. Chris. I'm going to go down and see Mr. Chris. Mr. Chris is a very talented tech engineer slash arsehole. The buddies are arsehole and we love him. And I've known him for 30 years. So we're going down and we're going to put, we're taking a very special recording king, one of a kind that I snagged. And we're going to go down and we're going to put a K&K &K pickup in this thing. First time we ever tried to install one. Uh, so I got all the tools. I had to go into town this morning and get all this weird stuff. Of course, I have the pickup here. That's, the, that's my, my go-to for the past 15 years. Best pickup ever. And we have a very unique set of step drill bits that you need. Thank you, Princess Auto. And then we had to go to... Canadian Tire? No, Dollar Store. No, Canadian Tire. I'm advertising everybody for the Super Glue Gel. It must be gel. It can't be runny, snotty, liquidy stuff. Gel. So, here we go. Off down the road. Baster. <laughs> I see. What, what were you trying to baste? We won't go into that. <laughs> Let's just say I'm not going to sit for a month. Yeah. Oh man. So, What's happening? Well, I brought the car tar. Okay. And here I'll wipe off the counter. There you go. And the pickup. And these extra tools we need. Yeah, which ain't much. That's it. That's all we need. That's some big bits you got there. Yeah, it's a step drill for the end pin. Pure pickup. Yep. And here's the beast we're going to put it in. This is, a, this is the limited edition uh, recording king I snag off the off a reverb. You're going to laugh. You're going to need to open that. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Reminds me of a JBL studio monitor, the color blue. Is that right? It does. Mother, genuine mother of toilet seat. It's yeah. Elvis. <laughs> It's very Elvis. <laughs> it was, I'm lucky I got it. I, I, I found it in a music store in Missouri. You call that luck? <laughs> actually, uh, yeah, actually I do. It's a killer little guitar. It really looks Elvis. It does. The, the, the whole fretboard. Can I be fat Elvis? You can certainly be fat Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not going to be skinny Elvis, no, that's for no. sure. So, anyhow, that's the beast. All right. So... And this is the pure pickup. That's the pure mini right so there. So it's never spent a night without supervision. That's right. Okay. There's the beast. Yep. It comes with its own jig. Okay. Putty. The whole deal. The whole deal. What's the golf tee for? It's one of the pegs for to hold the uh, hold the jig in place. So this pickup is a lot different from most of the pickups oh, that God, I work yeah. with. Yeah, you, you do under saddle, so this is way different. But I... Get the feeling from watching all the videos I've seen of the installs on these that it isn't that difficult once you get going, right? The some of the, some of the stuff you do already, like the installation of the end pin and stuff, is the same. Right. Getting that out through the hole and all that. So we're gonna have to drill that out, are we? That's what those bits are for. Yeah, yeah. I, I've got some special bits for that. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, I shouldn't have bought that then. Well, you can take them back because I've got the same ones, or you know. You get step bits? I should have known. I got step bits. 
told you he had step bits. Yeah, well, you know. Who was that? I don't know. Did you hear a buzzing? Where'd that come from? <laughs> I'll get it something warm and sexy for it to uh, lie on the bench on. How about Actually, that? Actually, I might use a winder to get the pegs out. Okay. Well, we can do that, too. We're not going to need an endoscope for this, are we? You never know. They say you should put a mirror down there and a light inside to take a look at it. Well, if you're feeling bound up, we can use the endoscope. <laughs> Figure that all out. Uh, I'd, I'd rather use the turkey baster, I think. <laughs> okay, well, the turkey baster appears to be unserviceable, but sweet. All right. This is rather fun. I'm going to put this very sexy towel out on the bench here so that uh, we don't scratch this fine instrument. We don't scratch the what was it? Mother of uh, mother of toilet seat. Mother of toilet seat. This is actually a really good guitar. I recorded with this thing already. It's friggin' awesome. Well, there the strings shouldn't escape. I guess we should get out a mirror. Ooh, so it's not looking good. What? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I think you've got some shrapnel left there from the spaghetti and meatballs. So this is the premise right here. So the putty goes, the first one goes here. Right over the saddle. Yeah. Goes right there. And you want to angle the, the line of the, of, the, of the sensor this way. Because it's all coming. It's all coming back on itself. Back this way? Yeah. Well, Not the way, towards the end pin. The way it looks is this. So you, here's your end pin. Yeah. So the sensors go on like that. Yeah. And then they go like this. All right. Right? And then you and then you slide this up. You slide the sleeve up as close as you can to them once they're on. Right. To keep them from jangling yep. around. Um oh this one comes up from the bottom. Does it? This white one? <laughs> nope. Well it's meant to. Okay. Like once you once you get the pick, the move that we have to do is you gotta get the pickup puttied to this. Right. Then remove it, right, like this. Take this out, put the glue on the thing, mm -hmm. and get it inside. Mm -hmm. This is the nightmare, right? Right. That's the nightmare. It's getting it inside and drawing that peg up through. Then you put this in to keep, make it straight. In order to help us reference that line, we could probably, where's that golf tee? We could probably take a, make a pencil mark on this. Well, you can see the saddle right through it. I know. As a matter of fact, the new ones are clear. Yeah. So it doesn't it doesn't have to be exact. It just has to be just over the top of the set. Well, I mean, we know where that's at. I like to see it. All right. Now I can visualize it. And I know it's going to change, though, isn't it, as we move it up? Yeah. But. Okay. So the first thing we got to do is do the end pin. Yes. That has to come out first. It has to be, it's a half inch jack. Standard jack, same as the ones you've put in before. Does it matter which, these aren't labeled at all. No, they're so all it doesn't, the same. It doesn't matter which one goes where. No, they're all the same. All right. Well, that doesn't sound too hard at the outset, does it? Quite a procedure, isn't it? Yeah. But it's quick. Like once you get the... Once it's in there, it only takes 10 seconds for that glue to bond. Right. And then you're done. You just got to do it three times is the problem. Right. Okay, I'll hold the neck end. You right. pull that out. Right. There you go. A little bit of tape on it. Hold it in. There was. I prefer to use a straight bit. Right, okay. But just make sure you mask the hole. If you're going to use a straight bit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to go wobbling all over the place. Just put a piece of tape over so you don't tear the finish off. Oh, we'll tear the finish off. Oh, yeah. We'll rip the finish off. But only in the right, right ways. ways. We'll rip the finish right off. Yeah, we should have brought the, the, um, the, the guitar. Where's that coming from? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Is it radio on? Just turn it up. Uh, uh, the workbench you bought. You, you got brought ghosts it. in here. Oh, it's the ghost of ginger pass. I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the roasts of ginger pass. <laughs> Hot as a house in a forest fire. I got the dry setting on there. Oh, yeah, I mean, I got the door open. You're an idiot. Well, good call there, Sherlock. Good teamwork, guys. 416. 
You measured the gap. Well, I just measured the pin. I just have to get the right the drill. Okay, I got the drill. Cool. <laughs> The first electric guitar pickup <coughs> was invented in the 1920s in California. Sounds right. By a guy named uh, George Boshin. Yeah. And he was using pickups from phonographs. Oh, uh, yeah. And experimenting with those and coils that he mm -hmm. wound. Yep. But that has nothing to do with this. I don't think we'll use this. Okay. I've got a few step bits. Let's, uh, let's use one of these so you don't have to open that pack. Okay. Okay. This one goes up to half. Yeah, a quarter inch. Or half inch. It is, sorry, a half inch. Yeah, it's a half inch. Because yeah. this uh, barrel jack measures 462,000. Yeah, yeah the, way, the, the, reason they want, the reason they use a step bit is it also deposits all the crap outside the guitar. Which, that's another reason they do it, probably. Maybe on your step bits. <laughs> Mine's going to spray it everywhere. Okay. All right. Want me to hold it for you? Well... It, the likelihood of me marring the finish on this is a lot less if right. you do hold on to it. Okay. There you go. Yeah, but we still have to go through further. Just hang on to that. It's got a big block? Well, yeah, I might got to bring my step bit out a bit in the drill. Nice. It's a deep block. It is. Yeah, I see that. Now it's through. There you go. Yeah. I'm going to use the top of your guitar case that's not level so that all this can fall off and we can lose half of the hardware. That's right. Let's set it on. That's how we should do it. It's how it's usually done. <gasps> what a fit. Perfect. I'll just, just put that anywhere. Just put yeah. anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> this place is messed up today. Yeah. There's a lot of weird sounds and noises. There's and a lot of weird noises happening. Yeah, I know it. All right. So that's, well, I think we got the general thing going there. Yeah. I like to prepare the bottom of the bridge plate yep. before I glue stuff to it. Absolutely. Put a little so sandpaper on it. Get in there and have a boo. Oh, yeah. There's lots of chips coming out of the bottom of those holes. Take a look in there. Uh-huh. There's lots of chips that you can see. Can you get a focus there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those need to be cleaned off. Yep. Gave myself a splinter today and I'm not happy about it. Another metal splinter. Really? Yeah. How does that keep happening? Well, probably because like I keep handling sharp metal things. Keeps cutting metal. This one's particularly well, I chose this one because oh, there's one with a smaller sound hole even than that. That we may have to get assistance from uh, someone of the ginger persuasion. Yeah. Because she's the only one that has hands small enough. I think this guitar hole. is enjoying this because she's having a smoke. Yeah. <laughs> At least the smoke coming out. <laughs> is it good for you? <laughs> Feeling slightly used. <laughs> can, I, can I expect a call after this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's clean that up and take a look. <laughs> it's okay, baby. <laughs> All right. Uh, Let's have a look at that. How to make a guitar shit itself. Yeah. That doesn't look too, too bad. Yeah. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Alcohol. Hall. My big fat claw. Kind of hard getting it in there. 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 Didn't even damage the finish. Look at that. That's better.
have putty will travel. Have putty will travel. All right. All right. So there's our first line. We want to put it right over the saddle. Looks good. Okay. And we're going to press this little puck into it. Yep. That looks pretty centered. Yep. Okay. You're good. Which gel is, is gel what, glue? Yeah, this is what they suggest you use. Okay. Because it takes a bit of time to get it in there. Yeah. So And this doesn't run or drip? Yeah. So... Really? Did you just grow a third hand? Yeah, did you see that? I did see that. Did you like, the, like it? And I, I made sure it was nice and dainty. It's like too. watching the men in black. It's very dainty, yes. Just when you think you've seen all my hands. It's like getting a rectal at the doctor. This wants to go like that so you can use the point yeah, to get right. it up, right? That's right. I'm gradually catching on. And I'm going to take a little bit of this methyl ethyl ketone and clean off the back of this thing so that there's no oils or greases on it. You think that's enough? Mm, I think so. All right. I'm going to need six hands. i got to get that in there, not spill it. Get it by the braces. What is going on with this glue? I don't know. Boy, I says, boy, I'm pushing on it, but nothing's coming up, boy. <laughs> this is the... <laughs> Do you see what's going on? No, I don't. It's like it's, it it's gone glue, to gel must inside. Have, must have glo glu glued itself shut. I don't know if that's enough. I, I'm not having faith in this glue. Oh, yeah, it is. I mean, people just put a single drop in the center and get it done. Well, as long as it's, as long as it's completely covered. Boy, covered, it should be good. I says, boy, I'll give it a shot. Okay. I just got to get my big fat hand in there. There we go. Now where's that pin? There There's that side. Get her? There it is. There it is. Now just hold it. Hold it there for about fifteen seconds. Somebody got a watch? That's your holding the sensor theme song. Hey, it's cooter. Diddly 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 fiddly dee potatoes. Potatoes. Just amazed my fat little hand fit in there. It's time for a drink. Yeah, it did too. Look at that. It, it's completely it it's solidified. Well, and that's what I'm worried about is, is the glue any good? Well, no, worst, it's still liquid. The worst that'll happen is it'll fall off. Yeah. I like Where's to that glue in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Am I missing something here? Maybe so. All right. Well, <coughs> all right. We should try pushing away. Yeah, let's do it. All right. I'm going to take the golf tee out. Yep. And I'm going to pull this out. And then I'm going to try and pull that off with the putty. Get her. Well, let's take a look and see what happened. It is all in there. Does it look good? You tell me. Yep, that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. Is it positioned right? I think it's okay. Well, it seems to be a little closer to the B than it should be. It's weird. It was, it was fine up here. Yeah. All right, well, let's try, take another one. All right. It's supposed to be here. Right, so it needs to be a little closer over towards this uh, one here, like like right about something like that, right? I wish I could see through there. Well, just look look through. Oh, look yeah, I out. see it. Yeah, you're right on. That's it. All right. Well, once again, I'm going to take a little bit of this and clean that off. Did you mix that glue up? I'll, sh I'll shake this uh, crazy, crazy snot for you. You shake that. It did. It got gelatinous when we opened it. Well, it is supposed to be maybe gel. Maybe it's supposed to be this. just stale. No, I don't think so. All right. Is there a date on the box? Best before 1973. Oh, geez. <laughs> it just... It There's just... Right there. Look at that. Yeah. It really came out. I'm going to make sure I cover that whole schmoo there. There. There you go. What time is it? What time of day might it be? It would Fiddly be deep potatoes. It would be three thirty-three. Three thirty-three. Three three thirty-three. 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 Three thirty-
potatoes. No pressure. Oh, there you go. Oh, in the a hole. Yeah, get it right away. <laughs> Put that right in the a hole. Get it right in the a hole. That time. Get right in there. Right up, right up the a hole. Shove that right in the a hole. Okay. I think this is. I feel a, like there should be some hold music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> elevator music. Elevator music. Your wait time is currently three minutes and fifty eight seconds. <laughs> Your call is important to us. Your call is important to us, please. All right. Five minutes and eighty-seven seconds. <laughs> eighty-seven seconds. Your wait time is eleven days, three hours, and eleven minutes. <laughs> I think like you should always play tequila for the wait music, just because it's fun. So you can go yeah. tequila at the end, or do tequila shots while you're waiting. That's right. Yeah. So the longer you get on hold, the drunker you get by the time you talk to the representative. Yeah. 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 Can I help you, sir? I did that from that. That would be the that would be the typical call from most people. Well, you you certainly wouldn't probably be annoyed by the end of your wait. No, no, you'd, you'd be, be drunk. You'd be like, why'd you answer the yeah. phone? I'm not done yet. Yeah. <laughs> Put me back on hold. They still have half a bottle. Yeah, I yeah. haven't got to the worm yet. Yeah, afternoon on stable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got that ad. Um, I don't want to alarm you. Your finger stuck. Yeah, I think my finger stuck inside <laughs> the tank. I knew that was coming. Yeah, bond skin instantly. <laughs> What's that hammer? I'm gonna gently pry this implement, implement away. A look of concentration. Well, I got good news yes. and bad news. What's that? It is following the, uh, it is following the saddle, yeah. which is good. Yeah. There. Look at us. There's a little bit of putty hanging down that we'll clean Cozy. up. So the next one, we flip this over. Yeah. And we want this one up there. Yeah, there was a little bit of glue there. Like... La. We should probably give a big thanks to to Dieter K and K as well for inventing these things. Mm -hmm. These are the best pickups I've ever used in my life. First time to install one. It's a little easier than I thought it would be. Of course, he's doing all the hard work. But yeah, so I'd like to thank the Academy. I'd like to yes, and uh, Gorilla Glue. <laughs> My sponsor. <laughs> it seemed like liquid when we, when I took it out of the carton. Yeah. Then when we opened it, it turned all solid. It gelatinized. It gelatinized. Here's a new word for you. Yeah. That's right. All right. Gelatinization. Here we go. Last one. Last one. Driver home. All right. Your wait time is. <laughs> Your wait time. I feel like I should have a remote or something. So this is a satin finish, is it? It is, yeah. Do you know that the first satin finish on a guitar was invented in the 1930s <laughs> during the Great Depression and the and the in the Dust Bowl of Kansas? And it was actually caused by a gloss finish being sandblasted by all the, the dirt flying around. You're shitting me. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. Maybe I am. I'm ten seconds with Chris Coop. Or maybe gentlemen. I'm being perfectly serious. That could be. Or I could be just pulling your leg. That's right. I'm not gonna. I'm but not gonna, I could be giving you straight facts. I'm not gonna push it. You know. <laughs> just let it be what it is. <laughs> push it real good. Whip it. Whip it good. <laughs> Whip it good. Well, I think my finger's stuck again. <laughs> Do you know that crazy glue was invented in 1979 by a guy with a hard hat on a construction site? Yeah, apparently so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to see if he could hang from a girder. He died. <laughs> he died. <laughs> <laughs> Shortly after. Yeah, on the inaugural attempt yeah. of his demonstration of his yeah. new product, he died. Yeah, it went wrong. Fell 17 stories to an <laughs> untimely death. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. He landed on an anvil truck. <laughs> <laughs> Why there was a truckload of anvils underneath the building just then, I don't know. His, his funeral <coughs> and burial was courtesy of the Teamsters. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> He's still at that same building. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, he's just underneath the, the first lamppost to the right. There. Right. Yeah. Slowly, carefully. Taking the time to get it right? Exactly. Ben's what commercial bread? was that? Ben's bread. No, it wasn't. Oh. Yeah, they were hearty breads. Not slowly, it, carefully, it, taking yeah, the time. Was, to, slowly, no, that was, that was Alexander Keith's beer. Slowly, carefully, taking the, the time to get it right. thing. Wasn't that Ben's bakery thing? <laughs> Speaking of which. Tell it below. Comment <laughs> below. Did you hear about the fight at the Ben's Bakery the other night? No. A loaf of bread got fresh and kicked the donut in the hole. Ladies <laughs> <laughs> and gentlemen. Uh, he'll, be, he'll be here all week. So I'm going to have to go in and, and clean that up. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure going to have to manually manipulate that uh, mm -hmm. that guy. It's a problem with working inside a guitar. Yeah, I don't know how anybody even does it. You can't see anything. No. Did you know that the see-through guitar was invented? In 1912. Yeah. And why does a golf tee fit in perfectly to... Because, little anybody know, the, uh, the bridge of an acoustic guitar was invented by Arnold Palmer in <laughs> it's 19, a little known 19, fact. 1942. It's a little known fact. Yeah. It's sad, but true. It, it was actually a thing to put... He actually had that on his mat at the practice range. Right. He held his tees. And somebody yeah. said, that would make an excellent thing to put on the front of a well, guitar. That's a sticker. It's I, a sticker. I put that on myself. Did it's you really? It's optional, yeah. Okay. You said when you were going on endless, endlessly babbling before. Yes. You said that this has to go down. Yeah, you to get hold the you, wires. Yeah, you get that as close as you can without pulling anything. Right. That way, then you're you get you get the you won't have to tie anything back after you're done. Right. That looks about about good for me. Awesome. All right. So now we're back to this end. Yes. Sir. The uh, southern end. Mm -hmm. Yes of this northbound guitar. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Can't lose the washers. Got the jack. Now the hard part. I don't like that fit right there. Just too much sticking out. There's too much stick out on the sticky bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is, these are the little bits that sometimes people don't take enough time to do. Properly. No, that's why you're in. And then when I go to try and fix somebody's guitar, yeah. it's a real pain in the roids. Yeah. And your in pin installs are never come apart. Well, I've got a little secret to show you. You curse and swear at it a lot. I do that. Okay. That doesn't usually help hold it in. There. <laughs> but I do do that. All right. Let's try this again. And then we can test fit that bit. Because this is important too. Yeah. If you don't make sure that the the end of the, the barrel comes in the plug can't go all the way in. Yeah. And I've seen yeah. that more to people on stage fiddling recessed. with their crap all the yeah. time. It's because they they've got this way inside and you, your jack can't bottom out on the spring. So I like to set it a little tiny bit proud like that. Yeah. Just so you're sure. What do you think of that? Yeah, it looks good to me, buddy. Perfect. I think that's tight enough. Yeah. Now I'll tighten that on. Be sure to use the four-inch crescent wrench for that. Don't use. Don't use the other crest, the fifteen-inch crescent. No, wrench. I wouldn't. No. You want to use the four. You use this for Gibson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the odd Martin if it gets dropped. Yeah. I think we should go down to the studio and plug it in. Yeah. How's that feel? feels awesome. That doesn't feel like it's going to come out. No, sir. If I could come up with a jig that would allow you to do all three of them in one, one hit. That would be cool. I'll three keep pegs. that stuff and I'm going to come up with a jig to Doug, do all three in one hit. Doug Sampson invented his own jig. It's similar. Doug Sampson. What does he know? Well, Big man on campus, Doug Sampson. Doug Sampson, Doug Sampson, that's all I ever hear about is Doug Sampson. I hate that guy. What a jerk. It would be slicker than the snot off a chicken's lip. Yes. For sure. Slicker than deer guts on a doorknob. That's fairly slick. It is. <laughs> slicker than a pile of raccoon guts. Slicker than a dead skunk in the middle of the road. That's right. Yeah. Slicker than a porcupine scrotum. Which little Was the known, slick? Little known fact, they are incredibly slick. Did you know that the porcupine scrotum was invented by a porcupine? Yes. Now, how do I uh, 
Get the glue off my fingers. Uh, Use some of those corrosive chemicals over there. A rasp file? I'll meet you in the studio in 20 minutes. Oh, okay. As soon as I get all this glue off my fingers. Off we go. All right. And there we go, folks. Let's go up and string this thing. Fly's undone. <laughs> You can see uh, how easy it is. Actually, it looks like a lot when you're faced with it by yourself, but the install on these pickups is uh, really simple. That's, it, it, that's what makes them so awesome. Like they go in the guitar there and uh, that's it. You can't even tell there's anything in there. The only way you'd even know there was a pickup in this is by the end pin jack. That's that's all you can see. And uh, they're they're permanent. It's not something that's gonna you know come flying off or or break or short out. There's no power going through them. Uh, they're completely passive and have the highest you know signal to noise right or like no noise high signal of any passive system I've ever heard. They're just, uh, there's a ton of power in them. I don't mean to be, but I'm using uh, 80, 20 bronze elixirs on this. Uh, it's all I could get on, on Amazon. And I, I'm, I'm uh, half a mind that, that these strings are actually fake. Uh, they, they're packaged like elixirs, but they don't. I had a set of these, I put a set of these on another guitar and they died within the first set of, of music. So another thing you might want to take note of too, and you know, they don't feel like elixirs. They're too scratchy and gross feeling. I don't know what they are, but they don't think they're elixirs. So don't buy elixirs on Amazon. Another thing you're gonna notice I do here is uh, because we had to take all the strings off this guitar, uh, not tuning it to pitch as I would if I was stringing it regularly, I'm just gonna get them on and not flopping. And just like that, because you don't wanna put a, you wouldn't wanna tune the, this up to E with no other strings on it. Could damage the neck. We're gonna wait for Chris to come up. We're gonna plug this into my Fishman and uh, take a listen to the guitar acoustically through my Aston Origin mic. And then we're gonna put the mic on my, uh, Fishman Artist Loudbox, which is what I always play through on stage, and uh, we're going to show you why K&K &K is the best pickup in the world. Jackie. 
It's time to break open the bubbly. That wasn't too uh, wasn't too bad a job there. I broke a Christopher. Thumbnail. Well, that's that's the worst thing that happens to you today. That's the worst thing ever, eh? <laughs> broke my my damn nail, eh? Yeah. It's shattered. <laughs> my damn thumbnail, eh? It's it's just about torn right off. He he's been hanging around with me way too long. It's the worst thing ever. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if this thing works. I'm just going to play the guitar through the Aston here so you get a good uh, dose of it. It's a real, this is a really nice sounding guitar. It's just got that old uh, guitar ret sound. retro deal, you know, that all the recording kings got. the guitar acoustically and here's the K and K of topping yeah all i everything on here is completely flat except for the treble i got it about two o'clock just a hair of treble 145 yeah, yeah 145 yeah but that's the pickup it's amazing how consistent it is across all the strings with no fiddle yeah none it's we didn't have to do anything we just put the sensors in there yeah you saw us do it and that's it. It's a they, pretty simple install. They go in and they work. And that's all. And every every guitar I have in this room that I tour with has got that in it. And I think they're the winning me why. over. I think they might be winning me over. Yeah. Now, you should talk about that because Chris does installs for everybody. And he's done all kinds of different installs for me. Uh, we, we've done LR bags, we've mm -hmm. done Fishman's, mm -hmm. we've done, it, Chris has done all of them, right? And for most guitar players out in the road, an under saddle is sometimes the best thing because it's just consistent. Yeah. But it don't sound like a guitar to me after a while. Right? No, and you, that's why you got into the blended pickups with the under saddle, the, the piezo yeah. under the saddle, and the, the beam pickups yes. underneath to give you that warmth and immediacy, right? But... but the funny thing about that is the first actual dual system I ever used for any amount of time was a K and K, mm -hmm. the Trinity system, the blender. Yeah, yeah. it has an outboard blender, a, micro, right. a microphone, and a gooseneck. Yeah, that with, had with, two jacks coming out of it. No, no, it? it just had the one TRS. But it was yeah stereo. Yeah, it so was it was stereo two different outputs yeah. that you mixed outside. Yeah. Yeah. So that's an option too. If you do, if you really, really want, I depend on this thing like crazy. On stage, I've used amps on stage of every stripe you can imagine for nearly 20 years. And but if you really want no amp and options for control outside the guitar, the Trinity system K and K is is perfect. Mm -hmm. It's a small box with your volume and blender right there, and then you can you just send that out to the board and away you go, right? So the simplicity of that pickup system and the sound raw out of it though yeah is with no battery staggering no it battery it's warm yep it's consistent it's not moving around if you if you have to move your set remove your saddle for any reason for service that's right you're not changing the sound no. of your pickup or yeah exactly it's not going to crush the pickup over time no and you're going to have strings drop out which yep. is pretty common with the other systems. it happens all the time <laughs>
guitar's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, like listen to how that translates the actual guitar, right? Mm-hmm. Like, the, they don't, they pick up everything. That's the deal. Mm. It isn't just uh, an immediate, you know, capture of something that's happening inside, the, between the, in the saddle slot. Yeah, as long as that guitar is still singing. They're still picking it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. So anyhow, there's Very another helpful. episode of uh, Guitar Stuff with John. And uh, this is obviously one of my best friends in the world, uh, Mr. Mr. Coot. Mr. Chris, we call him. You can just call me Mr. Mr. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, and thank no you. No problem. And stay tuned. We'll be back. Thanks a lot for being here. Wicked. <laughs> I need to do it. <laughs>